Hello, this is Brad Deverson from Falling Cats Consulting. Thanks for turning up. This is part one of a series about exploring your personal unfair advantage. In this episode, we'll define what it is, where the term comes from, and why you should care. Then we'll end up with a few areas you can explore to get you started. If you're curious to know more about me, check out the link to my site, Falling Cats Consulting, below. Another, maybe nicer word, is secret sauce. It's that special taste to the meal you love, but can't figure out. You ask the chef. They say it's their secret sauce. They could tell you, but then they'd have to kill you. You hope they're joking. I prefer unfair advantage over secret sauce, as it's more direct. It comes from a framework called the Lean Canvas by a chap called Ash Moria. See the links below. The Lean Canvas is a framework designed to help startups flesh out their idea in a logical and progressive way. But we're not here to talk about startups particularly. We're going to skip right to the unfair advantage section. Typically, you do this later in the process to identify what, if anything, you have that might give you an advantage if competitors try to copy you. My point in this presentation is to encourage you to explore your own unfair advantage now, no matter how old you are or whether you're in the startup world or not. But Brad, I hear you say, why should I bother? Hmm. Well, the fact is, most people don't bother. If you put some effort into working out your unfair advantage now, that is actually your first unfair advantage. You're probably a candidate for this journey if you feel like you're just drifting through life without achieving much. The poor MD below puts it well. Work, eat, sleep, repeat. Wow, but is that it? How about you try to create more and consume less? It's almost immaterial what you create at this stage. Let's get started on how you can explore what you've already got. I'm going to use personal examples because I know they're true, honest, and they got me where I am today. Here's me and my dad Tony when I was about six months. You may have come across the term nature versus nurture. Basically, it's about what makes you you. Were you born with it, or did you get it as you were raised? Here I'm talking about what I got before I knew I was getting it, regardless of how. In my case, I was a physically unremarkable kid, but apparently cheerful, curious, in the nice sense of the word, and outgoing. My parents encouraged these aspects as well as being like that themselves. So, step one, describe yourself. What do you like? What are your personal strengths? When I was a kid, we traveled a lot. This is my mum Wendy and I in Tarragona in Spain. My best count is I went to eight different schools between the age of four and 18. I learned how to make friends quickly. It also taught me that there were other people other than Australians and that they lived quite differently and spoke other languages. Whew, wow. So step two, what have you got from your parents and relatives? What is your normal? Multilingual, family in other countries, big family cook up each Sunday. What actually is it? A short interlude. You might say, but Brad, I'm shy, or I don't have anything special. I would reply, you can try and change those things if you want. Shy? Deliberately put yourself in safe situations where you have to speak. Maybe steps first, but start. Do something. Maybe make a mess of it. Learn, try again. As to, I don't have anything special, I'd probably disagree, but that's what we'll be talking about in the next sessions. At this point, if you've decided it's all too hard, that's fine, if a bit disappointing. If on the other hand, you've dug into your personality and found some interesting stuff, that's cool. The next sessions will be a wider exploration of your world, again using my background as examples, so you can dig deep into your existing unfair advantages, as well as working out how to get more. Please subscribe if you want to know when the next session is ready, and leave a comment if you have any feedback on this session, and especially if you've discovered some of your secret sauce ingredients already. Until next time, cheers.